last season I did a save with P-A-O-K and it got to season three and then that was kind of it. It kind of petered out mainly due to the game title coming to a, a natural conclusion you know, at the end of the game. But I did want to revisit it and today we are taking five seasons. P-A-O-K. How far can we get them? There is going to be a rant about the Champions League because it does my nothing. But let's have a look. So here we are with P-A-O-K. And let's have a look at the tactic we'll be using for this save. It is the Van Gaal Netherlands tactic. I have tested this. If you want to have a look, I'll put the link down below for the tactic and where to get a good video on how we tested it. Now, the squad is a weird squad, as they always are in Greece. Some players I don't think should be in Greece. Um, Rafa Suarez, no disrespect to Greece, but he just, he just shouldn't be. Signing for Vittoria, I did think he left by now, but he is still at the club. So that is a, an acumen for us. We have 30-year-old Nelson Oliveira, a forward. He came from AK Athens. Hasn't really set the world alight here, but he will. Yeah, I know he will. <laughs> we have Neri from Togo, Khalid Nare. No one mentions. We have Brandon Thomas, who definitely is Spanish, but he is Spanish apparently. He started off at Mallorca. He is now at POAK. Hopefully, you can build a team around him. He's only 27 years of age. We have a few seasons, especially if he's only doing five. But that is where we're at. Finance wise, £1.29 million to spend. We may struggle to bring anybody in, but we'll have a quick look. Obviously, before we got here, a lot of signings came in. The most recent one being Mane, 21 year old defender. He's, he's never going to be good enough to play for the main team, but I didn't sign him, so it is what it is. But let's get into the first season and see how we got on. We are at the end of this first season, and you can see we sit in second place. Only four points behind Limpiarkos, but goal different. Oh, it wasn't. I got confused there, but it wasn't. It was because we beat AEK, that's why we are above them. But let's have a look at the schedule and see how we did in Europe. Look at the competitions, as you can see, round of 16 in the Conference League, semi-finals of the uh, Greek Cup, and second place in the league. The issue we have, is that I, we always have this issue in Greece, is that the bigger teams like Olympiakos have, have all the money, and with the Champions League changing, it makes it very difficult. So we qualify for the Champions League next season, but let's have a look at how we did in Europe this year, because that is more important. As you can see, we only lost two games, which is it is great for us, to be fair. One, two, one against Sparta Prague, and then the other one, two, one against Ghent, which ultimately led us to get knocked out. I mean, you thought, oh, they were on penalties, that's why. It's just a bit misleading, that one. I mean, teams we've beaten, Shamrock Rovers, 20, Shamrock Rovers again, Derry, Motherwell, Rakow. We didn't really play really great teams, but it is the Conference League for a reason. In the Cup, Kifisia 3-1, Kifisia 2-1. We lost to Aris, actually. The two-leg semi-final, we lose by a single year goal. That's fine. We're not getting outclassed there. Did we manage to beat Olympiakos at all this season? I don't think we did by the looks of this. <laughs> what we did at the end, look at that run there. That is the run that really helped us finish where we finished. That is outstanding. We beat AEK. We must have beaten a few times, surely. Was it 2-2? Two, two? I don't know why we're above them. I have not got the foggiest idea but in the end the transfer wise we ended up bringing one player in it was João Pedro 30 year old Portuguese he was a free uh, I just needed a midfielder really for this formation for this formation we needed a midfielder so obviously I left him in he was the only person that we had in a set position for the full simulation of this season and I think he did relatively well in my, in my personal opinion average rating of seven 36 appearances, two goals, three assists in total. He just did a job, and that's what we needed at the time. Obviously, going forward, we have not enough money to really make a massive difference, which is what happens. Hopefully, a season in the Champions League will change that. But, you know, these things do happen, unfortunately, in Greece, which is a shame. Goals this season, we have Brandon Thomas in third there with 16. Kurtik in ninth with 11. And El Kaduri there with nine in 15th. Average rating, we have Kurtik with 7.36, Kaga 7.24, a lot of high ratings. You'll have a better look at that when we get into the actual squad and Verena in second with 12. If we look at goals, Brandon Thomas with 29, option, he wants to leave, not ever good news. <laughs> 15 for Kurtik, who's on a loan. Where's he from? We, any chance we could sign him? I mean, he's 34. I'm not probably not going to try him, let's be fair. El Kaduri with 12. Olivieri of nine. The issue we have here, right, is that we have a lot of average ratings here. But if I go to the general info, the age of some of these players is a joke. Like, look at that. 
that isn't that isn't good like one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty and above which isn't brilliant as you know i brought one in because we were desperate we needed a little bit of quality but ultimately i mean look at joe pedro there he's like sixth in the list so we did need someone of that ilk what we do need to start thinking about bringing in younger things younger things younger players to try and make the most of what we can do but with champions league football it gives us a little bit more to to you know flirt with people people might want to come to play a little bit of european football who knows how long we'll last in the competition fingers crossed we can meet at the group stages to get a bit of that sweet cashola but let's get to the end of season two and it's the end of season two and things are not looking good we finish in third place i mean look how tight it is two points from the top one point to second and we are now in the red but let's have a look at what happened on the transfer front before we go any further in this on the way out we had a lot of people leaving on freeze obviously i did say i needed to, to really thin the squad out a little bit the only player leaving for a little bit of money was on loan and it was this guy andrea zhubizrek he is 27 years of age he played in midfield uh you know i was going away he was now he's a winger we don't play with wingers you need to try and make sacrifices when it comes to this. So he went and I brought in some players I know a little bit about, but one I know the most about is this man, Randy and Tecker, 26 years of age. He comes in from Rio Vallecano. He played 29 games and scored 12 with a 7.12 average rating. So for five million pounds, he's making it worthwhile already. Lucas Ribeiro from Hoffenheim, 25 years of age. He's a defender. He played 34 times, average rating of 7.14. We are already making the right steps towards getting this team somewhere where it needs to be. Ethan Galbraith came in, defensive midfielder, only played two games, unfortunately for him, but you know, I needed to get bodies in that could play these certain roles. Gabriel Bellodi, centre-back from Italy, 20 appearances, 6.94 average rating. So we are getting the core of the squad in. My main thought was if I can sign some of these players and even if I loan them out, we can get a little bit of money in for them because the only way we're going to get money in this this league is to, to buy and sell players. So Paul Glatzel came in, 23 years of age. He's English. He hasn't played this season. It's hard to really get. No one wanted him either, which is a bummer. You hope when you sign these players, someone will want them. But Matthew Smith, defensive midfielder, he wants more. One appearance, 6.9 rating. Dujon Sterling, right back. He played 18 games in the end. 6.9 average rating. So these players are decent. These players, if they got on a run, we'd be able to get rid of them. Rodrigo, striker attacking mid, he wants to leave now as well. Another player I thought I'd be able to loan out. You'll see a lot of this. I'm trying to buy a lot of players to really make the most of it. I mean, this guy isn't that bad. Italian, 23 years of age. Michael Pompetti, one assist and six, 6.87 rating. Then Bashir Humphreys, Ugandan, 21 years of age, defensive mid. Youngster, I'm hoping he'll, he'll progress in the future, but genuinely, the plan is to try and get as many people in so they can get them out the door and get a little bit of money. The only players I wanted definitely in the squad were Pedro and Lucas Ribeiro. Obviously both making it worthwhile. They're 7.11 or 7.03 for them. Apart from that, I was very happy with the assistant just picking and choosing players as he wanted to. And ultimately, that leads us to here. The Super League in third place. We finished in the... We got knocked out in the third qualifying round by Sporting Club de Portugal. Knocked out in the group stage of the Europa League. And then the semi-finals in the Greek Cup. But we need to have a little bit more of a deep dive into this, don't we? So first of all, we will go to the Champions League. But as you can see, we beat 3-1 on aggregate Victoria Pleasant. Then unfortunately, I mean, 5-3 on aggregate and Sporting. The first game, I, 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 I kind of sim these games when I was watching it. I was like, it was actually, we've got a chance here. To score in the 90th minute at home is terrible. Then obviously, when we fall apart at home. Which kind of puts you full circle, doesn't it, in the end. And this is our group. We have Rangers, Brest, Union Berlin, and we didn't get a single win. Obviously, three points in the end, but we lost games. We, we have to beat in Berlin. We have to beat in Brest. It was a very, very disappointing thing to see that at the end of the season. But it, it's one of those things. In the Cup, we had some, uh, some glorious games. I mean, 7 0 aggregate here. We had 7 3 on aggregate here. Very nice. Seven games and two legs. And then we crumbled to AK Athens, who eventually, you know, beat us off in the league as well in the super league though things look a little bit more promising i mean we, this is the only thing so you beat olympiacos but you lose to ofi creek and you're like well okay then you lose to Vola. i mean it's sort of you beat ek again it really comes down to the other game where you're losing you shouldn't be losing atromatus panathinaikos i think olympiacos should expect to lose that but dropping points against aris 
Tripolis. So you, you're dropping points against teams on a regular basis who you need to be beating to really compete at the top end, which ultimately in Greece is the main problem. With there only being basically three teams, if you're involved, obviously there's going to be AK, there's going to be Olympiacos. If you're there, you're the third team. You're dropping points against teams like this. It's, it's just, it ultimately punishes you. If we go to the profile of this, we can see goals this season. Brandon Thomas in 7th with 14, Oliviera with 13, 8th and 10th for Randy and Tekka. Not the kind of prolific you see last time, but average rating, we're still, we're still bossing the average rating, which is, it's good to see. Rafa Suarez there, 13, 8th. I remember last time I did this, I managed to get a lot of money for Rafa Suarez, but I don't know whether it's because of the pandemic -y type thing on this is more or, or worse, but I'm really struggling to get any, any money for people that should command a high value, but it is one of those things we've got the squad and we go to the age actually i'll show you that first age wise you can see above 30 we have another six but these are on the way out they haven't been played a lot of games and they should all be gone by the end of this season obviously ingerson already got a thing round up i think he is i think he's gone germany i think it is i may have i may have fell through actually i thought he was going to germany but he's not let's have a look at selection info we can have a look at the average ratings a look at this Obviously, some of these have only played a few handful of games, but to have that many is great. It shows the formation is working. It's making sure everyone is doing their own bit. 14 goals for Nteka, 16 for Vieira, and 22 for Brandon Thomas. An assist, 14 for Suarez, and 10 for Khalid Nari. This means, in the league, as you can see, we qualify for the Conference League, which isn't the best, but it does it does mean it's a competition where we can, we can you know... <laughs> say do well but look at them the money situation is is slowly deteriorating next season we only have 1.39 million pounds to spend yet again which we know isn't a lot i'm going to try and work with installments but it's easier said than done in greece it's not a very attractive league of place to come to and that sounds horrible but that kind of just is the situation but we'll get to the end of the third season third place this year not the best but fingers crossed next year with conference football we can really improve let's get to it what a season it has been we finish in second we are very far away as you see eight points off ak but look at this olympiacos 62 points they're down in fourth which is catastrophic for them <laughs> but here we are knocked out in the quarterfinals of the conference league and the quarterfinals of the cup there two very very disappointing things but let's have a look at what happened on the transfer budget this season as you can see a little bit of money came in Obviously, a few players left. Matthew Smith went on loan. We got a little bit of money out of that. Zivkovic finally went to Torino for 240000 And then Lucas Taylor, this guy here, went to CTB for 130 k I did spend a little bit of money, though. Somehow, we got Jamie Shackleton on a free, which, to me, I, I love this man. He, obviously, he's ex-Leeds. I wish he was still at Leeds. I wish he didn't go to Millwall. But, you know, it is what it is. 7.1 average rating with a 33 appearances. He's an absolute demon. Will Smallbone comes in, he's played 26 times this season, scored 6, average rating of 6.98. First season in Greece, he's really shown what he is like. Oliver Christensen comes in, he is a goalkeeper, obviously replacing Zukovic, and he is a really solid youth player. He's 26 years of age, plenty of time to improve. And so he had 27 in 35 of 17 clean sheets. He is the main man. But only three coming in. As you can see, 1.3 net spend million. Uh, a lot of people leaving once more it's we're struggling i am struggling to try and create some funds we're finally in the positive which means next season we have 1.2 million pounds spend but it, it's um it's 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 getting hard let's put it that way it's getting very hard in the league we've got a goals brandon thomas for 21 is in fifth we have Oliveira and, and teco with 10 apiece in 14th we average rating is something we always kind of make our name on but with only four in there this season that's really fell off it's been a very weird season this i think this will probably never happen again in the entire time um, <laughs> we're, we're in greece we only have two seasons left after this but you know it, it, it is what it is in the conference league as you can see we actually did very very well only losing two games ultimately that cost us though the 2-1 loss to sassuolo followed by a draw at home sassuolo a very very good team hamid triore domenico baradi very unlucky to lose this. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of how we did in this competition. And if we go to the Conference League and we go to the final, it is Marseille versus Wolves. We would have beat none of them. They are both far better than we are. 
But we beat Anderlecht, which is nice to see, and Zulte Varagam, who are also from Belgium. The cup, the one that evades us, we beat Calithia, 3-1 on aggregate, and then unfortunately lost once more in penalties to Palinthinakos. Penalties are my bugbear on this year. This year, They always seem to go in for everyone else, and I always seem to mess them up. If we have a look at the people we've lost to this season, only three. Panathinaikos, 1-0 loss, and AK twice scored six passes in two games. Apart from that, this is what you need to be doing. These are what you need to be doing. Obviously, you're getting wins, getting three points on the board. Yes, disappointing to drop points to these kind of teams, the draws here and every year. But this is the kind of consistent run you need. So if we were to do something further, we would need to really improve upon that. But our second place means we're in the Champions League next year, which means our finances should go through the roof. But it does lead us to the new system of the Champions League, which we will save for the next one. This has been a very short season update because, as you can tell, without any lot of money, you can't really do a lot. Not in Greece, anyway. So let's get the end of season four and see exactly how we put our mark on the Champions League. Here we are, season four. And yeah, we've done what Olympiakos did. We're in fourth place and we're we're not even in the conversation. We are qualified for the Conference League yet again, but we're not even in the conversation for being anywhere near the top two, which is disappointing at this point. So we'll just do it straight away. We've got competitions, knocked out the league phase of the Champions League and the quarterfinals of the Greek Cup. This means I can have me whinge about the Champions League, so we'll turn all these off. Give me the Champions League now. Before we get anywhere, Champions League. How are you meant to have a good run in the season, right? When you have a stupid system like this, yeah? So, Trabon Sport, I think we did really well to beat them. Porto, even better to beat them. And then you end up playing just daft teams. Like, Salzburg, yes, they're not prolific, but the talent they have, everyone knows they have really good talent. And then you, you play Liverpool, Chelsea, Inter Milan, Real Sociedad, AC Milan. They're all miles better than you. So, you, you get a good run of form in the league, then you play these, you get battered, and then, like, what are you meant to do? I don't understand how you have a chance to progress. It's just stupid. It is absolutely stupid. Like, we need, we got two, we nearly won this game, 3 2 there. I mean, they give up at half time. 2 1 against Sparta Prague. Probably should be beating Sparta Prague, to be fair. But by then, by then, what are you meant to do? You've been absolutely battered down. You've been absolutely battered down. Here, we've lost, we've been absolutely destroyed by Panathinaikos. Exactly the same run as last season. And it just gets really frustrating because I put, if I put all the competitions on, right? You can see the games we have. So we beat Astana. We have a decent run, yeah? Then you draw here and you just get battered. I mean, luckily, after this, after the Liverpool game, we bounce back and win two. But then you lose to Milan. You lose to Volos because you have that many games. You lose to Sparta Prague. You lose to Olympiacos. And you just set up a chain effect. So also your dad, you lose all these. Thank God, Cliff, you're out in our league because that could have been just brutal. The Panathinaikos game is, is in between these two Mingan games, which is a joke. And yeah, it sounds like I'm whining, because I am. Because I am whining, because it's a joke. <laughs> but let's have a look at who we brought in, eh? Here we go. So on the way out, £2.9 million. Oliver Christensen, our keeper we brought in last year, went to Celta Vigo for, well, you know, we need money. He give me money. And we managed to bring in four on a free. Three on a three, sorry, and one for 250k. We have a midfielder, Emmanuel Gubuaya. He's Italian. He's only played once this season. 6.7 average rating. Atalanta youth. I thought he'd be very good in case we needed him, but luckily we didn't end up needing him. I'm old Kanan from, I think it was, yeah, from Ashdod, but he played for Maccabi High Five in his youth. 6.96 average rating with 12 goals. He seems to be doing a job. He probably needs a year to settle. Cameron Archer, you know, from Villa, everyone knows a lot about Cameron Archer. Very, very good player, in my opinion. Played 33, 6.9 average rating. <sighs> Goalkeeper, Teddy Bullhendi. Played 36, conceded 39. Um, it was a season of change. We've got the squad. Joe Pedro still in there. We have Kanan playing there. Our keeper and them, the set positions I wanted to happen. Obviously, it didn't happen because of injuries, which is, is disappointing. We've got the squad. See, most appearances. I mean, he's going now. Pedro is on the way out. Couldn't have, he's going back to them. He's going back to... Going back to Vittoria. But goals-wise, we have 16 for Kanan. We have 14 for Nteka. 13 for Thomas. And then 10 for Cameron Archer. Assists, 9 for Neri. 7 for Shackleton. 6 for Nteka. And 5 a piece actually, for Soares, Cannon, and Ribeiro. This is when... These kind of rebuilds proper demoralise me because at this point in season four, you're going to struggle next year to do anything. I mean, we've got a transfer budget of £12 million, which means we can spend money finally. 
mainly because of the Champions League games. Like it, it crushed our confidence, it ruined our season. But the money's just that good and it's frustrating because I used to love playing the group games because you actually had a chance to go through. You only needed like two wins and you were going through. You could sneak a win here, sneak a win there and actually make something of it. But we have the Conference League next season. I mean, honestly, the Champions League for a club like this has ruined it for me personally, the way they've ruined it. But what can you do? They're not going to change it for all manager rather. So, yeah. Teddy Bullendi, best pass completion from goalkeeper. Bring on season five. Season five is here and we finish in fourth place yet again. And this is disappointing. If you go to competitions, knocked out in the semis of the Greek Cup, the quarterfinals by Wolves in the Conference League and their disappointing flat finish in the Super League. Let's get to the transfers. We've had a bit of money to spend. We spent 9.25 and we made no money on the way out. Obviously, everyone on the way out for freeze. Oliveira, who is now 35. Pedro, who is now 34. But I brought in some players that I was shocked I managed to get hold of, to be fair. Steven Ordi, he is Nigerian, 29 years of age. He's played 13, scored 13. I mean, a player that I honestly, stats-wise, I think he's very, very good stats-wise, personally. For this level, he, he seems like he'd be set. I think another season, he probably would be set. But obviously, we don't have that luxury. Giorgio Cittadini, the centre-back from Atalanta. He's Italian. 7.3 to average rate in 29 games. Shows his class. It, it kind of makes it a bit sad how bad we've been. Defender here, 26 years of age. I paid a lot of money for this man. £7.5 million. Pounds. A 6.96 average rating shows that he probably hasn't adjusted as quickly as I wanted him to. And then Ryan Brewster, man who cost £19 million. Pounds. We got him for less than a half a mil. Four goals, 6.7 average rating. How his career has fallen. It is a shame, but that is what happens when you know you go to the Blades, unfortunately. I shouldn't have said that because that's offensive to the Blades fans, but screw it. In the Conference League, you know, this is what I mean. In the league phase, we had... We had Wolves, right? Because obviously this is the big thing, right? And I was like, oh no, they're really good. And when I saw the results, I was like, well, it's okay because chances of getting them again very soon are slim. So then we go with the Randers and we beat them 5-0 at home, which puts us into the next round. And lo and behold, we lose 4-0 the first leg against Wolves. It was so well the second end to get back anyway as well. But yeah, Premier League, they have a lot of money. More money than we do. It's a more attractive league to sign players. In the Greek Cup, I mean, we've lost we've lost one around. At least we'd be Panathinaikos, but then Volos, who shouldn't even be in the competition with us, he's not even in the conversation of how good we are. We ultimately go missing to them, which sums up my season, really. Losing to AEK, losing to a traumatist, it doesn't look that bad until you get to the Champions Group. Like, until we got to the Champions Group, we were absolutely flying, but then a 5-2, a 3-0 ultimately cost us and it's disappointing because i wanted to do so well with these <laughs> i wanted to do so so well this formation isn't is a good formation we're just very very unlucky it just so happens that our bad running form coincides with the wolves game which doesn't surprise me you're playing we've been there in a, in a two week period you're playing oh it's, yeah in a two weeks period you're playing six games five games which is a joke it's we haven't got the squad for that unfortunately it did cost us in the end that's kind of how it goes. We probably could have qualified for the Champions League, but that is a bummer. But we have some good players going forward, some good youth players. If we look at the squad now. We have successfully kind of changed the age of the squad. Now we only have three above the 30. Sorry, we have five above 30 because we can't offload these two, which is what it is. Brandon Thomas was unhappy. He didn't play that many games, but he wouldn't leave. He had two offers on the table. He refused them both. But look at how the youth we have now. We have a solid few years where this club can progress and make some big, big moves, especially on the global football stage. But with £10 million in the bank, they're not struggling for money. £7 million transfer budget. I'm feeling positive about this club going forward. No cups for us, unfortunately. It wasn't the best rebuild, but Panathinaikos are in a better place. They have great players. With the Conference League, they'll play one more. They'll probably have a disgusting, disgusting run. But... Thank you for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I've got a save with Spenny Moore Town. We are into the Vanarama National League. That will be coming out tomorrow. And thank you for watching.